Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we are going to demonstrate how to use Advanced Brush, specifically its Brush and Edge Divide tools, to boost your vegetation planting efficiency. To activate the Advanced Brush, navigate to the top toolbar and click on its icon to start painting on any surface. If you need to remove an unwanted area, click the Eraser button. The brush will turn red to indicate it's in erase mode. To finalize your painting, just right-click. Once you've finished painting, you'll find the Brush Divide option in the right panel. This feature allows you to divide the painted area into separate zones using brush. After you exit editing mode, if you ever want to go back and make changes, just click the Brush Divide button for that specific zone. You'll then be able to draw or erase in that zone again. If you want to add new sub-areas, simply click the plus button in the top right corner. To break down an existing sub-area even further, just click the Divide button on its right side. That's where you'll find options like Brush to help you fine-tune those divisions. When you select a sub-area through the Management panel, it'll highlight in the viewport. Clicking it in the viewport will also get its name highlighted in the panel. This way, you always know exactly what's selected. Now, you can add official presets, studio presets, or individual plants to each zone. Instead of drawing areas first and then scattering, you can also do it the other way around by directly adding plants or presets from the brush control panel. When you choose a scatter preset and draw, the area you create will automatically include division layouts instantly giving it an organized pattern, which is super efficient. Apart from Brush Divide, Advanced Brush also offers another new option, Edge Divide. Upon its enabled, the scatter surface will be automatically split into two parts, an edge zone right along the boundary and a central area. Click the Area Row and the Edge Division Control Panel will pop up. It's packed with several settings to fine-tune your edge zone, Edge width determines the distance between the inner and outer boundaries. Edge erosion noise controls how irregular that inner boundary becomes. As you increase the edge erosion range, the inner boundary will show more undulation from its original form. A higher value will result in more pronounced undulation. Edge Erosion Blur can blend the inner boundary and the edge zone, making the boundary less distinct. Edge Erosion Random Value defines the shape of the inner boundary and how it's applied. You can keep adding more subdivisions to these two zones using either the Brush or Edge Divide tool. The Brush and Edge Divide tools also work on scatter surfaces created through material or model selection. To help you better understand everything we've talked about, we'll now use the Advanced Brush to create this riverbank. First, create a scatter surface by selecting either a material or a model. Now, we can use either Brush Divide or Edge Divide to split this surface. Here, we'll use Brush Divide to mark out areas for the river, grass, and bushes. We'll also name these sub-areas to keep them easy to distinguish. To make the transition from the grass to the riverbank more natural, we'll select the grass area and subdivide it further. After that, we'll select the river area and add an edge divide to it, with this edge zone serving as the area for aquatic plants. All right, we can add plants to each zone now. We'll slightly reduce the volume of the grass within the transition zone, and adjust its scatter density per unit area. This creates a layered effect, moving from small to large and sparse to dense. Finally, we'll place trees and add details to the terrain we've already created. And just like that, a simple miniature scene is complete. We've also integrated the brush tool to the cull effect, enabling you to create a cull area anywhere you want. The release of Advanced Brush and other relevant updates offers even more possibilities for natural landscape design. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.